On April 20, 2010, there was a catastrophic explosion and subsequent sinking of the Deepwater Horizon, an oil drilling rig in the Gulf of Mexico. The explosion killed 11 platform workers and injured 17 others. This event caused an environmental disaster, an oil leak from a deep water wellhead 5,000 feet below the ocean surface. Despite a brief moratorium, deep water drilling continued. Because there's never been a leak this size, at this depth, stopping it has tested the limits of human technology. The year is 2060. A young couple begins the ritual of the date. A nice restaurant, pleasant conversation, getting to know one another. Mild flirtation ensues. He comments that he is surprised at her adventuresome nature of ordering ocean fish. In the year 2060, it is the last living fish in the ocean. In coy defense, she replies, Many people consider it a delicacy. He reveals my grandfather calls it cockroach fish. They share personal stories and the family history they bring with them. She smiles in reminiscence of her father vacationing in Cape Cod. He's four years old and wants to eat lobster every night. She describes a favorite photograph of her father wearing a bib with a drawing of a lobster on it. His father and grandfather were shrimpers in Louisiana. He tells of the hard-working yet fulfilling life they led. Their whole life centered around the ocean, until everything changed. She says the world was so different for their parents, quoting her mother, You don't understand. The world is broken. The way of life changed forever. Entire economic livelihoods were destroyed. Families that were once self-sufficient became homeless. Large companies, small businesses, restaurants, fishermen, crabbers, shrimpers, boat builders. Every aspect of life that was even remotely connected to the ocean was altered and ultimately destroyed. Generations of families whose histories were based upon the ocean through business or recreation were forever changed commonplace occurrences, enjoying the edible treasures of the ocean, fishing, swimming, surfing, snorkeling, diving, boating, and spending leisure time at the beach were obliterated. The people who lived during these horrific changes were irrevocably impacted. They remain one of humanity's darkest and most negatively damaged generations, often referred to as the generation of death. 20 years after the Gulf of Mexico oil leak began, the oceans of the world were pronounced no longer a viable or regenerating living ecosystem. On April 20th, 2030, DOD Day was officially announced, Declaration of Ocean Death. Five years later, in 2035, a proclamation was made becoming an indelible part of history. WD-1, World Disaster One. He recounts the story of his parents telling him exactly where they were on DOD Day. The protests, the symbolic funeral held at the shorelines, the weeping in the streets. She relates how difficult it is to understand. As the evening comes to a close, the date is deemed a success. They leave the restaurant, entering into the only world they have ever known. 